years, and uh, he likes my wine, and I give him wine, and he brings me blueberries. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because in Mississippi, you'll never have a, their, their alcohol laws are so bad, it's unbelievable. But anyway, what you do is you push it down like this. It's called punching down. Punching down. And we want to get this down. Back. If you look, you can see where the juice level is. You see it right there? Mm-hmm. But of course, these are full of juice too, see? Mm-hmm. We just punch it down like this. I do it twice a day. I've already done it this morning. I'm not gonna finish this. Yeah. And we got I gotta go get some tomorrow. I'm gonna end up with five bins in here. Five bins? Five of them, yeah. We should we should have somewhere around four hundred gallons or something of blueberries. Blueberry wine when I'm finished. Let okay. me go wash my hands. All right. Now, what kind of red wine you'd make for us? The, the, uh, All right. Good question. And the white. Let me show you. We have, uh, there are hundreds of varieties of uh, muscadine. I like the way your bottles up all look. They, they look more, uh, more uh, attractive, you know. Well, we try and do that. You follow what I'm saying? The bottles. Yeah. I should have brought you a bottle of mine, but I'll. But this. But uh. I got, I got plenty of wine for you to take that. Anyway, this is this is just the way we do. I do my chemical testing in here, and uh, this is where we bottle. It's where you bottle. <coughs> yeah. And everything. Now. Well, I want you to go start from where we started from the first beginning, so I could. Uh, just that little, that little piece where you told me about them. We do that all the way out. What? You remember when you told me and you put that grain and stuff on there? Oh, yeah. 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 I'll be doing that again tomorrow. I can, we can do it. I think I, I don't know if I had it yet. No, no, no. But I just, if you're going to show me the machine after. That, that's the first process, right? Yeah. Crushing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you take a picture of that. Well, I'm videoing you so that way we'll know. We can just put it together. Bob can put it all okay. together, a little package. And stuff so we can I can bring it back home so. so let's let's go now we've got the wine made it's in those tanks that you see in here okay well let's let's walk on all right the wine is in these tanks this this is called this is a white wine called magnolia okay this is a white wine called Carlos Carlos means white okay and that right there is called Noble. It's a real dark red wine. Mm -hmm. Best wine known to man for your heart. Come on. It's, it's Noble. It has a real, actually. So what the Zydeco wine you gonna use? Which one you gonna use that for the red wine or what, what you gonna use? Well, I'm gonna show y'all that. You, you, okay, you, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little ahead of you. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so what we do, mm -hmm. I was going to go back in the cooler, yeah. Go back in the cooler if you want. That's what you want to do. Oh, you want to go in here? No, that's what you say you're doing. I don't know how you... Well, I'm just showing you that's, we, we get, well, that's, that's already made. That's okay. why it's made. We just keep it cool. Okay. And that's just... Well, open the cooler so I can see. Just yeah. show them. That's the cooler where you keep the wine cool. This is where we, we, we uh, do the final fermentation. It's called cold stabilization is what it's called. Okay. It's called what? Cold cold stabilization. stabilization. And that's the wine, that's the tanks and stuff. Yeah. That's the wine in the bottom of that one right there. There's nothing else to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just coming up on the season. Okay. Mr. Mack, I'm enjoying this, Mr. Mack. Okay. Yeah. kind of wine you're making with that blueberry? Blueberry wine. Blueberry wine, okay. Oh, didn't, I, did I, didn't I send you some wine? I sent somebody some. No, you sent it to Shelly. Oh, yeah. A, a good uh, okay. a friend sorry. of mine, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I need to show you. Maybe you should take a picture of all the wines that I make. Well, let's go. I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'm gonna, uh the you got them on the, la that's the labels up there? That's yeah. some of the labels. Okay. Let me, uh, I know what let's do. Come here. You have a restroom right in there. 
Okay. That's what I'm gonna need in a little while. <laughs> This is my tasting room. It's your tasting room? Mm hmm Okay. It's a tasting room. And I, I'm going to show you something yes, that sir. I want you to take a picture of. All right. Come over here. All right. I want you to look at that painting. That painting? That painting. Mm -hmm. It's called Friday Night Blu-ray. Friday Night Blu-ray. <clears throat> the Cajuns, before Prohibition, would go nowhere without their children. You notice the jack sign here and the false yes, step sign there? Mm -hmm. the man dancing with his wife, his mm -hmm. little boy watching him. Mm -hmm. boy holding, they're playing boo ray, which is mm -hmm. a very dangerous game. You probably know about that. Mm -hmm. He's holding on to his dead leg, and these are older children in bunk beds. Mm -hmm. Prohibition destroyed that. Because okay. you can't bring a child into a bar. Okay. Anyway, these are all Cajun pictures, um, mm -hmm. paintings. Paintings. Yeah. And here's this the is the wine tasting room. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's Mardi Gras. That's the Cajun Mardi Gras of way before what we have now. See the little, see the little carts with they, they got yes, little sir. candles in them and everything. Mm -hmm. Now he's he's selling moss five cents. They used to make come on. Yeah, moss was used for mattress. Right. Okay. Anyway, right. you know who that is? Yeah, that's the Pope. John Paul II. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So anyway, here are the different wines. Okay. That's the different wines you make. You should start on this side. This is start on this side. This is these those are muscadines. Muscadines? Mm -hmm. Except for one. It's muscadine and blueberry, you'll see that. And these at the bottom so they're just just so I don't have to go out and get them out of a box when people come in. Okay. We do get people up here. Not a whole lot, but we do get them. Okay. Do you get tourist people come? Yeah, but not a whole lot. Okay. Anyway, these are what's called Zorts. Actually, it's really just a, a plug that goes into the bottom. If you look, they, mm -hmm. to open that bottle, you peel that off. That's mm -hmm. called a pilfer proof. You peel that off right there. Mm -hmm. Open up, let me see. I'm big one. Okay. So you peel that off. All right. And then you pull it out and you have this right here. To replace it, yeah. So so you can put the cork back in. You don't drink the whole bottle at one time. That's right, all right. And you can reuse this forever. All it right. It does not wear out. Okay, good. Good. Now, these are specialty labels. Okay. Guess yeah, right. where this one came from. All right. Bless you, boys. Bless, Bless you, boys. No, Saints won from. the Super Bowl. Saints won the Super Bowl. <laughs> I see you got a uh, anyway, you got a Tiger one too. Yeah, LSU Tiger one. Yeah, man, you got some nice stuff. Man. It is, stuff. This one right here is look at that one. Mardi Gras 2004. I got a bunch of Mardi Gras ones. Three oh, Mardi, Mardi Gras ones. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Some nice stuff, man. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a, a case. We'll put one of each in there, so you have one of all the wines. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate anyway. that. And this is where we taste. People come in. That's where you them. taste that right here. Right here. That's your taste and stuff. Yeah. And then if people want to buy some wine, right. you sell it to them and stuff like yeah. that. Man, I'm excited to meet you. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Me Garland. too. <laughs> man, yeah. Yeah. We're going to make this rock, man. man yeah. We're going to make this rock. <clears throat> My priest, on the he... Mm. Well, the Bahi is a, man, he's, he's some kind of a priest. He spent a month, or maybe six months it was, with Mother Teresa. Right. When he got out, when, after he was ordained, he went over there and stayed mm -hmm. with her. He was very close with Mother mm -hmm. Teresa. Anyway, this is a wine that we, we, he uses in, in the uh, diocese here. Wow. But it comes from California. Okay. We could use my wine. We just, he, and he just started about that. But I want to go to the screw cap. The okay. screw cap is easy to put on and easy to take off. That's right. And the bottle never wears out. Come on. All you got to do is take the label off. If it's, da if it's damaged, you take it off. Mm. If it's not, you just fill it back up. Right. And so he's been saving these bottles for me. Wow. And now I got another job <laughs> making mm. him, trying to get this going for him so he can use this as altar wine. 
the only problem I know of right now, and I think I'm going to be able to get around it, not around it, but over it, is you can't use any, when you, when you make the wine, you cannot use any um, uh, sugar from a sugar cane. Okay. It's got to be sugar from the grapes. Okay. And I, I, I don't, I'd have to buy that out of Texas, which I'll do. Mm -hmm. And we'll make altar wine. And that and it reduces his cost. So y'all gonna make the altar wine to reduce his cost for the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah to help out. Boy, that's a good thing. Yeah, uh, yeah it's God, it's it's shipped from California to here. Yeah, you could do it. Right you could do it right here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. It's a, it's so much a blessing to meet me. Yeah. Uh, now, Mr. Cas, uh, Mr. Cas de Su. Cas de Su, used the first licensed winery in the state of Louisiana. Key word there is licensed. Had thousands of wineries and distilleries. Yeah, had thousands of wineries, but it wasn't licensed. But you, yeah, the that first was one to be licensed. Okay. Prohibition shut everything down. And afterwards, all the states were given the rights because the, the federal Congress, if the men and women in the Congress, if the men voted to uh, take away the prohibition laws, mm -hmm. the women would be furious at them. If they voted for the women, the men would be furious at them. Mm -hmm. So what did they do? This is the only thing that the federal government does not control anymore the production of wine. It was given to all 50 states. Do with it as you please. Wow. <laughs> Otherwise, everything, you know, is not, the federal government allows everything. But okay. They don't have anything to do with wine anymore, alcohol. Okay. So, anyway. So, well, we hope we can. Do you want to you wanna take a picture of me punching down? Yes, sir. Right, you want me to just take a picture of your video? You because I can all. Okay, whatever you want to do. I'm videoing you right now. We could take a picture later, but I, I, you could do this. Mash it down. All right. Go. This is called punching down. Punching down. What happens is the it's fermenting in the the uh, CO2 that the yeast yeast consume the sugar and the byproduct is alcohol and CO2. The CO2 catches under the skins and lifts it up. You can see I was very close to going over here. Mm -hmm. I, I try and get as much as I can without going over. I came real close to going over here. And so twice a day, mm -hmm. once in the morning, once in the evening, mm -hmm. I come in here and I call this called punching down. Wow. And watch what happens. Come over here, you'll see it. So what I'm doing is pushing them down back into the, the wine that's at the bottom. Okay. Because it it got half of it. Yeah, we want to get all we want to get everything out of this. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Wow, and see at the bottom, you could see the wine at the bottom yeah. from there. Yeah. You could see where the where the it's juice right at. Here. The juice is right at the bottom. Yeah, I'll I'll end up getting juice maybe maybe this much right in here. Wow. We still haven't gotten it. So this how long it takes for you? How long yeah, how long it takes for you to do that? I do it uh I leave it like this for uh Three to five days. Okay. No more, no more than that. Then I have to take them back outside, and we'll go out there and. In that crusher. Back. No. No. Nope. It's already been through the crusher. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go in the press. Oh, in the press. Yeah. And squeeze the juice out of it. Wow! I seen all that wine came out of your hand when they. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Try and get as much as I can without going over. If I had filled them up too much and come out here, mm -hmm. it's all pulled all over on the floor. Wow. But look, see how right here? Yeah, I see That's that. That's why I started punching down just a minute ago when we came well, in. Look how it's coming see up. How, see how the juice has come up oh, here? Oh, yeah, the juice coming up. That's not really juice now, it's wine. That's wine, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's how you make the wine. Right, come on. Oh, here's the. Restroom facility. I know if we do this, we're probably going to have to have porta potties because I only have one bathroom here. Okay. And my wife ain't going to let people come in the house and use the bathroom. <laughs> That's anyway, we got a shower in there and everything, so. Okay. I see your cross. I like your cross up there. I don't like that cross. Let me tell you why. Why? And I know what my son, he, he was thinking good. But don't but have that's it. what you would get from Hitler, or Mussolini, or Mao okay, Zedong. Okay, okay. It doesn't have the corpus on it. Okay. But I didn't want to throw it away. Okay, okay. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one up here with the crucifix right, and right, right, this right. below it. 